Four to zero. So I'm going to look at the recombination of photo excited electron hole pair. Um, so the system I'm going to be looking at is um, an iron dimer with uh, Prussian blue. Our methodology can be used on any system pretty much as long as it can be um, calculated on. So we can't go to massive systems because we can't get the evidential uh, poten uh, local potential. So the methodology we use, uh, we pretty much use the same as everyone else, except we introduce two-way functions simultaneously calculating. Through, and the only way that they are connected is through the columbic attraction, which is over there, where this is calculated at the end of every cycle. So it becomes not a uh, static potential, but a dynamic potential. So it goes throughout the entire step, so it's very much like uh, SCF potential. Uh, the local potential, that uh, our total potential is the local potential plus the Coulombic potential. The local potential is shown there, which is abstracted from ab initio calculations uh, formed in VAS, and it is collapsed into uh, one dimension through integrating over the x and z spaces and then dividing, uh, then normalizing it. So this is a potential um, where the iron is put about at 6 and the Prussian blue is at about 11. So through that methodology, um, we can look at rates. And as I talked about in Jabez, I was not happy with the single exponential throughout the entire time scale. And I was, not, not, I was also not happy just by looking at the position. So I did it in two ways, finding rates. I did it where I just integrated like everyone else. But then I did the overlap of the two uh, electron and hole. Because you would think if the electron and hole are on top of each other, then that there's a probability for a recombination. So I also did this, and on top of the second method, I looked at the maximum of the overlap, and I calculated the k fine, uh, beta final, where the, max, uh, the overlap was maximized. And surprisingly, we see that the rate is not exponential when we increase our dielectric constant because unlike everyone else, I did not do it with uh, initial momentum. I had my momentum fixed, and I varied the dielectric constant, because if you, di uh, if you think about splitting uh, your photo-excited electron hole, depending on the medium that you're in, you could have very high dielectric constant, very low. So we wanted to see, because uh, there was a paper that said that this system used to split water has an increased efficiency when it has a polymer uh, matrix involved. And we, most of our data would support the idea that when you have dielectric constants between 3 and 10, the rate of recombination is the lowest, which would indicate that that would improve the efficiency of the cell. What did you like and red here? Is your different methods? Or yes, two different methods. So uh, black is method two, and red is method three. Uh, not, not these methods, the method of propagation of the wave packet. So method two is uh, doing a Fourier transform from uh, of the uh, momentum operator from momentum space to spatial space. And then the second, uh, the third method is the uh, using the definition of a derivative to get the momentum. Operator. But which one is more accurate? Like which one I should trust more? Because they're really very different, right? They don't really agree. Um, that I would say. Um, that I'm not 100 percent sure. But if you look at the overall trend, except for when we just look at the half cell, so when we just compute 
the electron on the other side where you think uh, combination would happen, they're still, this line is very low, but they still have a minimum, so they are relatively consistent. Even though the trends are, the quantitative trends are a bit off. Um, and through this, um, we can look at the time evolution of the potential and the electron, and we see a very interesting change in the potential as we increase our uh, dielectric constant, where we see a very, very dramatic change in our potential when we have a dielectric of one. This is due to having the, uh, the hole go back and forth in the potential while, which can um, increases the potential of back and forth, back and forth. And we see that even when we go to forward, but when we go to 80, it's pretty much constant. And then the electron probability, we can see that at forward, there is a definite localization where at one and at 80, it starts to become more delocalized, which this also supports the idea that the electron is staying on the iron versus Recombining. So, in conclusion, okay. um, we see that when we vary the dielectric constant, um, if it's very high or, or above 10, the rate of recombination is higher than when it's lower. And this is an image of the recombination at when we do one uh, dielectric constant. And our conclusions also support the paper where they say that a polymer matrix increases the efficiency of the cell. Our future work for this would be to try and go in two dimensions instead of just one. But on a desktop computer, that is uh, that's too expensive. Um, so with this, are there any questions? Okay. Let's thank uh, Levi for... And until...